Here is the official list of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice by McFarlane Toys. So the first release was Batman his main look suit from the movie. This was the start of the line which I think even though the movie was some time ago it was highly anticipated when they made the announcement and McFarlane were always going to make all the big DCEU movies. I'm not sure if they've got the likeness right even the license to this and some argue it's a downgrade to the Justice League version and it's the same for the proportions I do prefer a more muscular look as in this figure he seems too thin for me. Nevertheless I think the accessories are nice with the Batarang and the grappler gun which is kind of standard so it is a good start to the collection. And then we will be getting the second Batman which is the Nightmare version. This is the standard version with limited accessories, only the goggles and binoculars. I think this is a very memorable look in the film. I do find a lot of companies have found it difficult to make a very good Nightmare figure especially with the trench coat. Then the most anticipated one of them all in my opinion is the armored Batman. Yes this is without doubt the iconic look from the comics and of course the battle with Superman. The sculpt looks great, all the paint details are there. The only thing it lacks any sort of weapons which of course McFarlane have saved for the gold label and platinum versions. So let's jump straight to the first double pack of Nightmare Batman, this time with the scarf covering the face with the goggles and also the armored Batman with the battle damage helmet. Looking at the accessories they have gone all out with lots of armory the smoke grenades etc and all those doubts without any license for guns has been banished overall i think with the accessories included this shades it over the standard versions but that's just my opinion then we have Wonder Woman which in my opinion is the best one yet in terms of the details to the paint. Of course the sword and shield is included for the first time which I think they should have made one for the Justice League but decided to use the 1984 version. So since this is the third McFarlane Wonder Woman it might not be the most exciting one but I would say it's the one to go for. Then we have the second two pack with Superman and Doomsday from the final battle. This is an exciting release for Doomsday since it's the first but for Superman it's very similar to the Justice League version. Maybe some changes to the paint details on the face sculpt and a darker tone on the suit which I do prefer in this pack but majority of it it is the same. And as a bonus they have included the spear for Superman. And there's also going to be platinum releases with the false god Superman. Scale wise this is not going to work since it's meant to be a really big statue. Now I'm not sure how this will pose either but it's something to represent this form. Hopefully McFarlane will release a large version in a statue form. And a third armored Batman is included which looks almost identical to the standard version. This time of course it does include the spear as it is a special edition. However you could get the Superman Doomsday 2 pack for the spear so you could skip on this one. As a bonus, a 1-6 scale statue of Batman is included in his standard suit. A base is included in a set pose with the grappler gun. The sculpt looks great as expected as it is a statue and this could open doors for more later on. So that is the full list of the Batman v Superman McFarlane toys so far. Which is your favourite to get? You can comment down below. My standout is the Nightmare and Armoured Batman 2 pack with all those accessories, especially with the guns. But I think Doomsday is a very unique release and it's unlikely we'll see other companies make this. Stay tuned to more DC news updates and thanks for watching.